What is up guys, Kelly Kevin and today back with another episode of Skyrim Mons and today we're going to be looking at the Spellbinder's Armor which is insane. By the thumbnails you can tell I, I try to chop and change there, it kind of make it look really cool. I'll showcase hopefully what I was going for in that particular thing there but uh, it just didn't work so obviously this is a sort of a mage armor, sort of like a battle mage armor, it's really freaking damn cool, there's loads of different variations of it as well throughout color, uh, so obviously if you want this mod guys, it's down in the description below as always, so go and click that, I'm being death stared if you look in the left corner, if you can tell, just over here, what are you, oh no he doesn't look, oh no he is still looking at me, this guy's got some serious beef, every video we do, he's just death staring me, it's probably because I interrupt him every time, but oh well. So what we're going to do is we're obviously in Dragon's Reach Skyforge. I'm pretty sure you can make this in the anvil, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. I think he's actually stuck, but oh no. And then what we're going to do is go into Steel, and as you can tell here is the sort of different sets. Now obviously Crimson and gold, Golden, and then loads of gold, like whites, golds, blues, loads of different things here. So obviously we're going to grab a couple of those as well. So for me, I'm going to grab the, grab, grab the Crimson set if we can. Uh, I'm going to grab the golden set, and probably my favourite, I think is all the way down at the bottom, is, is the white spell bound armour. Obviously the top there, and you got the blue trim throughout that, so I've just grabbed three different variations there, and we'll have a little look at them as well. Really kind of sleek as well, I really do like these, if I was going through a playthrough as a mage, I think I'd probably have to get this armour, if I'm totally honest, uh, purely because... Um, you know, it's heavy armor, but it, it's not, it doesn't look heavy. I don't think it feels heavy on character as well. So as you can tell here, it does look freaking sick. I'm going to move down slightly though. I'm going to go towards the sun. As you can tell here, most of our things that we've dropped. But, oh well, not too bad. So what I'm going to do is face it this way. I'm going to, oh, not do that one. Come out of this one, and then we're going to go into TFC1. And we're actually just going to have a quick look at the armor, if it will let us. There we go. Beautiful. So as you can tell, look at this armor. Look at this. And this armor is freaking amazing. When I first pulled it out, and I was just like, oh, I don't think it's actually going to work. Because nine times out of ten, the mods that I bring in are a little bit glitchy. So, but throughout this, it does, you know. And I was hoping, wow, this armor just looks too sick to be in this game, and it's going to crash my game. But it didn't. It worked absolutely fine. But look how sick this is. You probably can't see it because the crimson helmet is really dark. And I'll probably change it up in a minute. Let's just change it up real quick now. Let's go to the golden one. I mean, just like, look at that. Look how scary that looks as well, especially that helmet. It's some evil stuff there. So as you can tell there, the amount of detail is absolutely crazy. Even on sort of like the little robe pieces here. Uh, sort of little bags as well, little satchels all the way around. Uh, there's kind of like a spell book here. Didn't realise that was there. With some like little potions on as well. Again, a lot of time has been spent on creating this. Again, another satchel. About the print, sort of some crazy magician words there. Um, again, another satchels for spells and stuff, but you got this sort of like, I don't know, kind of like Dark Souls sort of theme of the guard across the helmet, but again, you got the cross, so you're kind of like a spellbound Templar mid mage. It is crazy, and obviously, you got the Skyrim logo within the chest piece there. It's pretty damn cool. Let's have a look at the white hood as well, because probably at there, I'd see it a lot better. Yep, there we go. Look how sick that looks. Just, just take a minute just to look at that. Just pause the video right now and have a look. Look how insane that is. Absolutely insane. Now what I was trying to do for the thumbnail is something like this. I'll just bring it out this mode and I'll just show you real quick. So obviously this being a sort of a, a battle mage, sort of mage armor here. I'm obviously going to be using this in a sense to, where is it still? There we go. So. I'll sum it up like so. Uh, the first one I could have had was obviously this one here. Which, uh, it looks pretty damn cool. I'm not going to lie. Doesn't look, doesn't look that sort of silly. But the next one I thought, which would look pretty damn cool even more so. Which is uh, obviously like this one. Obviously, where would you start for this? Because all it is is literally just flames. Look at that. An atomic bomb has gone off. But no, really, really cool set. Obviously, I recommend this for anyone who's playing it. Pretty much ruined everything. Have I pissed you off? No, you're okay. You're okay. You're not. You're not crispy. But yeah, 
Really cool arm, I'm not going to lie. I really do enjoy it. I recommend this 110% if you are playing through a mage or anything like that. It just looks so damn sexy. Uh, re I really like it. And as I say, there's so many colours. There's a colour for everyone. Or if you just like this armour in general like I do, just get every colour. Why not? It, the resources to make this armour aren't high as well. But guys, if you did enjoy, hit me up with that like and that comment. Also, let me know if you're going to get this one. And uh, let me know if you've got this one and what you actually think of this or any of my other videos. But until the next one, guys, get a Kevin and get a Kev out.